So cleanings are very important because it always allows you to keep the customer in the store and offer upgrades to start or foreign trade-in, which means in our stores we take trade-in on any merchandise bought in any other stores as long as it tests out positive. The cleaning service allows us to receive the jewelry from the customer and put it in the ultrasonic cleaner for a while, thus holding the customer in the store so we can show them more merchandise to find any need. Please locate all ultrasonic cleaners in your store with a teammate. Learn how to properly fill and clean the ultrasonic, as well as learn how to turn on and off the steamer, but leave the filling to the jeweler. Some parts of the steamer are very hot. So let's talk about the ultrasonic. It uses a green solution that cleans the jewelry and gets off any lotions or oil that may be stuck to the piece. The sound of the machine is the sound of the vibrations going through the solution to clean the piece. The vibrations will loosen up any stone that might be held in with dirt or dust, in which case you want to check to make sure that the diamonds are all secure and offer any repairs necessary, as we say, find their need. Things to check for. Let's check for some thin tips, bent prongs, missing stones, cracked or chipped stones, and once again, find the need and deliver on service. At this point, I would like for you to identify your loop and millimeter gauge and go over basic use of these tools with a teammate. We will be using the loop and gauge later. So let's pause the video. You'll know that a tip is bad because good tips feel like braille. Worn down tips will not feel like braille. Let's talk about three colors that we can put in the ultrasonic machine. And they're the American colors, red, white, and blue. That would be a diamond, a ruby, and a sapphire. Anything else shouldn't be put in the ultrasonic cleaner. Vibrations from the machine might damage the item. Anyway, so who should be putting merchandise in and outside of the machine? If you put it in, you're the only one who can take it out. Even if the customer asks for it back and throws a fit, you need to hold your ground and defer to whoever put the piece in the ultrasonic machine. Anyway, so who should be putting the merchandise inside and outside of the ultrasonic machine? If you put it in, you are the only one who can take it out. Even if the customer asks for it back and throws a fit, you have to hold your ground and defer to whoever put the piece in the ultrasonic machine. If you have to put the merchandise inside of the ultrasonic cleaner, let your teammate know so that they know not to touch it and notify you if they add something to the ultrasonic cleaner. We don't want to hand back the wrong item to the wrong customer, which has happened. So when offering a stone tightening after the piece has been in the cleaner for a while, because stones always seem to get loose from the lotion being removed from the jewelry in the ultrasonic. After we have cleaned the jewelry and offered a quote, it is always good to go over the repair sheet and check out some pricing on any wear and tear that might have happened along the way, or anything that the client might have at their home. Remembering that gold is in fact malleable, so if you haven't done so already, go and find your repair sheet, look over some basic repair SKUs and pricing, we will be using the repair sheet, the loop, and the gauge soon. So please review these tools with a teammate, use them in the store, and we will be back to them later.